Hello traders, Forex Central welcomes you to The Power of Fundamentals, Unleashing Market Secrets for Trading Success YouTube series. In this captivating series, we delve into the world of fundamental analysis and reveal the secrets that can help you achieve trading success. Join us as we unlock the potential of fundamental analysis and demonstrate how it can be a game changer in your trading journey. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to refine your skills or a beginner eager to learn the ropes, The Power of Fundamentals, Unleashing Market Secrets for Trading Success series is designed to empower you with the knowledge and insights necessary to elevate your trading game. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest episodes. Join our growing community of traders, engage in discussions, and unlock the power of fundamentals for trading success. Get ready to transform your trading approach as we unveil the market secrets through the power of fundamental analysis. In this series, Forex Central gives special credits to Luciano of Loretta FX for his valuable contributions to Forex education. Now for the Bank of Japan, the Monetary Policy Making Body is the Monetary Policy Committee and it consists of the Governor, two Deputy Governors and six other members. Now the mandate for the Bank of Japan is long-term price stability with inflation at top focus. As just as the Eurozone, Japan is also an export-based economy so the central bank always aim to keep the currency from becoming too strong. Now, as it pertains to meetings, the MPC meets once or twice a month. Now, for Switzerland, the monetary policy making body of the SNB is the governing board, and this consists of three members the chairman, the vice chairman, and an additional member. The SNB's mandate is maintaining price stability. This is maintaining inflation right around the 2% mark. Switzerland is also an export-based economy, so their central bank also aims to keep their currency from becoming too strong. And on several occasions in the past, we have seen the SNB literally intervene in the market, selling their currency to weaken their currency. Now, for meetings, the SNB meets every three months. Now for Canada, the monetary policy making body is the governing council and this consists of a governor, the senior deputy governor and four deputy governors. The mandate for the Bank of Canada is keeping inflation low and stable, that is between 1 and 3 percent. The Bank of Canada meets around 8 times per year to discuss monetary policy. Now for the Reserve Bank of Australia, the monetary policy making body is the RBA board and this consists of the RBA governor, the deputy governor, the secretary to the treasury and six independent members. Now the mandate for the RBA is to maintain price stability with inflation around 2-3% to and maintaining economic prosperity. And for meetings, the RBA meets 11 times for the year. Now for the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, the monetary policy decisions are made by the governor and the mandate for the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is to maintain price stability that is inflation around 1-3% to and to avoid instability in interest rates and exchange rates. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand also meets 8 times for the year. Now it's extremely important to pay attention to the CPI data and other inflationary reports and this is because the central banks are paying keen attention to these data in order to carry out their mandate which is to maintain price stability. This is why the CPI data which is the consumer price index is so extremely important. Also you may hear the terms dovish and hawkish. Dovish simply means that the central bank is more leaning towards decreasing interest rates or keeping interest rates at the same level while AUKUS means the central bank is leading towards increasing interest rates or tightening monetary policy. So dovish means the central bank is leaning towards decreasing interest rates or loosening monetary policy while AUKUS means the central bank is leaning towards increasing interest rates or tightening monetary policy. So it's extremely important as a fundamental trader 
that you understand these central banks, you understand their mandates, and you have a good idea of when they are going to meet to discuss monetary policy. So go over these lectures again and ensure that you understand each central bank's mandate and their inflation target.